Hello, it's Daryl, and I'm doing another vlog. Okay, this week's vlog, we're going to talk about summer of 2007. I'm like engrossed with Destiny uh, for the next year, reading the material, uh, commenting, uh, trying to show it to other people who I thought would take take it and just run with it. To my surprise, every time I <laughs> mention it to someone, they pretty much just ran the other direction, which I thought was very fascinating. Uh, so, uh, I watched the videos, was very intrigued. Uh, I had a couple of uh, resonance or system demon interviews that appeared on YouTube, and wow, those were just amazing. Uh, and then the whole history of the world, history of man with Jack and Vino and different beings that came through the dimensional, interdimensional portal. That was just amazing, right? So uh, that's just one part of Destiny that people want to get hung up on and obsess over. And it's not even the most relevant part of the, uh, the whole Destiny material. The relevant part is what can we do to change the world? And what we can do is a lot different than what we've been led to believe, like applying creative visualization or believing in God or, uh, you know, using the law of attraction or positive thinking or believing in love or, you know, that's, that sort of stuff. I mean, we can actually do something with ourselves to change ourselves. I mean, the whole alien story is not really relevant. What's relevant is who we are here on, on planet Earth. So, how can we change ourselves and become more real and more effective in the world? I mean, that's what the Destiny material is actually about. And for the year that I, actually, the that rest of 2007-2008, I uh, slowly began working on myself uh, to become more self-honest, uh, doing self-forgiveness. And what I mean by becoming self-honest is actually, for the first time in my life, actually paid attention to what I was saying, uh, why I would say something, why I would think something. Um, and I realized that over time, I had actually, my whole perspective and outlook on life always came from another point or another you know, view or a person or a source. Hardly anything that I thought <laughs> actually were my own thoughts. They were just thoughts borrowed, just opinions borrowed, uh, perspectives borrowed from other people that I said, okay, I like that. That's what, you know, I will think too because, you know, in my equations, I come to the same result. So, um, I basically started to slowly step away from my perspectives that I thought were correct since I actually came up with them. I actually didn't come up with them, but I actually had put them together in my mind as my reality. And I slowly began to let that go, let the knowledge go, slowly let the, uh, my self perspective, I mean, you know, my own perspective, uh, I began to see that I might not necessarily be right, especially since nothing that I came with on my own was actually my own perspective. It was always based on somebody else's or derived from someone else. So I started to slowly see uh, what actually in the world that I saw was actually me seeing it and not um, just repeating what other people saw. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's been very interesting, you know. I began to see, especially in words, uh, words that we use all the time, uh, that we don't really... We really don't really look into words uh, 
what they really mean. I mean, we just have a very surfacey uh, concept of things like liberty, freedom, equality, you know, and not really uh, <laughs> see what these words actually mean. I mean, we just have like this sort of schoolhouse rock type of uh, relationship with words, not very. We're not very intimate with the meaning of words. So we throw words around as if uh, our surfacey conception of them are actually real, you know? So, you know, I started taking apart words like belief and equality and liberty and began to see that, oh my God, I mean, we've built a huge fake reality around the surfacey description of words. I mean, we haven't really taken the words apart and see what they really, what they really uh, signify, what they really stand for. And uh, taking that on has allowed me to see that uh, this was something I came up with myself. I didn't have to rely on somebody else's opinion to Form a you know, form my perspective. I actually could look at a word and like see for myself how the word's been used, how uh, it's this words are communicated to other people, you know, through the through the media, you know, uh, and uh, how if we take them apart, we can actually see what we've been living in terms of uh, definitions such as truth, liberty, freedom, democracy, uh, you know, love, all these things that we claim as virtues are actually principles that have kept us separated and enslaved. I mean, they actually are the opposite of what they stand for, only because we haven't really seen that the words, these words, these virtuous words and concepts that we see floating around in our, you know, culture, uh, cultural background or, you know, the whole, that whole thing, uh, we cannot see how those words are used against us to control us into existing as predictable pattern-based behavioral mice so people can keep <laughs> keep us controlled controlled by words mass psychology mass marketing you know uh, advertising the politicians are very good at this they can use words in a certain way that will flip a switch in people and you know someone like Rush Limbaugh or Glenn Beck can be regarded as intellectuals people who are patriotic and stand for American values American values that's interesting I mean anyway so I mean uh, understand that our perspectives are not our own. I mean, we've always taken them from someplace else. I mean, the challenge is to come up with your own view of the world that's not based on another person's opinion, but actually from your observation, uh, from a clear standpoint where you can see what's going on as it's going on for what it really is and not through some overlay or, you know, filter of your um, preconceived prejudices or inclinations. I mean, it's really difficult because you have to uh, let go of being right and being in love with your own perspective. And, um, and you can do that on your own. You don't have to have me telling you or listen to anybody else you can actually do this for yourself and 
see what's going on. I mean, there are scales on our eyes. We can't really see what's going on because we have been hypnotized and um, deluded by words, basically. We need to get to the real meaning of words so we can see the lies when they're coming at us and we can see how people use them and why they're using them to take advantage of us. Thanks, Destiny, for allowing me to see that on my own. All right, talk to you later. Bye.